Margaret Hillis was a very charismatic person and could be uh, very forceful in the professional situation. She's the type of person with that deep voice and that willing, uh, ready smile that sort of brought people along. She was an extremely insistent person in rehearsal. And so you had to be really on your toes all the time. I knew when I was about nine years old, uh, I was a conductor, that's all. They're teachers. That's a conductor's function, whether it be a chorus, or orchestra, or whatever. The hallmark of the Chicago Symphony Chorus, as Margaret developed it, is a very rich sound, a rich symphonic sound, not simply a choir sound, but a real chorus sound that um, matches the sonorities of an orchestra. And, and that's really rare. It's very difficult to do. Maestro Fritz Reiner had always wanted to have a resident chorus in Chicago with his marvelous orchestra. And I don't know how he heard about her, but she, was, uh, she had a very good career going in New York, and he decided to bring her here. And I intended to do it two, three, maybe four years, and then turn it over to somebody once it was really solid. But I fell in love with them. I also knew how much they needed me. She helped me as an artist through her example and her encouragement. Her example in, in terms of a woman who was in a world where growing up when I would see concerts on television, you would see an orchestra, you might see a chorus, you might see soloists, and always the person who came out and stood on that podium was a man. She was a great leader for me because she was a woman who, who went forth in her chosen field and was really regarded with very, very high respect among everyone. She was extremely well studied, um, and her score study was just paramount to the circumstance. She would prepare things that we could sing against a freight train. She definitely had an individual and unique approach to the choral preparation. Um, and Truly, her, her, her ability to thoroughly prepare a work and to prepare the choral voice for anything that might happen, to, to always be prepared so that the singing could be excellent, but that you could respond immediately to what a conductor wanted, that was one of her fortes. The other thing I think to say about her is she had a fabulous sense of humor, and it could be wickedly funny. <laughs> After Margaret laid all this fabulous foundation, I just got to come in and do the fun stuff. It was like coming into dessert, because all the preparations over the years have been made, and the chorus had been developed and had grown and grown and grown, and clearly she created an enterprise that is simply not to be matched. She never ever let down. I, I saw her in so many hours of, of rehearsal and you would think that a person would get tired or be in a bad mood or not feel well on a particular day. I mean that happens to everyone. And I cannot remember a time when that happened to her. She had more energy for um, insisting that things be right. Um, sometimes it drove people crazy that she would not give up until she got it. I think that was the secret of her great success. <laughs>